Today we bring the spirit of the road trip to the official launch of Internet Mana's 2014 election campaign. Today we announce another foundation policy of our movement, a policy that reflects both the needs and the hopes of our shared constituencies. We are reasserting full employment as a national objective. More than a million working age New Zealanders are excluded from our labour force. Our unemployment rate has doubled since 2006. With the right to work policy we are announcing today, we will shift the focus of government from how to manage unemployment to how to end unemployment. <clears throat> Our Right to Work and Digital Workforce Development Plan will see $8.6 billion spent in the next five years on a massive programme of community-led job creation and the development of a world-leading digital workforce. <laughs> and this is all in addition to our promise to reintroduce free tertiary education. <laughs> Overall, this right to work package and our digital workforce plan will address our immediate jobs crisis and support our vision of the economic transformation that is only possible if New Zealand rapidly expands its technology sector and invests in the infrastructure, education and government leadership to become a winner in the digital age. The health of our democracy and the integrity of our political leaders is under the spotlight. Last time we faced this kind of crisis of confidence in our democracy, we responded by introducing MMP. Now we have to make MMP work for us. On the one hand, we have a single party, national, whose dominance of the right and control of its support partners has stifled debate and policy innovation. On the other hand, we have an opportunity to create a true MMP government, a government that reflects our diversity and brings together good people to work on good ideas. That new government must be open to its citizens. The internet provides us with the means to transform the relationship that citizens have with our own parliament. Internet mana will open up government to public scrutiny. We will stop the TPPA and the threat it poses. And we will stop the threat that it poses to our democratic rights. And whichever parties we are destined to work with in Parliament, I tell you that after September the 20th, your work will not stop because everyone in this hall, led by Internet Mana and with communities around the country, will be launching a campaign on the 21st of September to stop the TPPA. <laughs> this election will be different. In the 18 days from the 3rd of September to the 20th of September, New Zealanders will cast our votes for change. Next week, 
we will launch Mobilise, another internet mana innovation to reconnect voters with their democracy. History, friends, is on our side. History is in your hands. Seize it. Thank <laughs> you.